Okay, so uh, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for those of you who are new here, uh, and I see some new faces in the room, so first off, welcome. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, this platform uh, details webinar is for you to ask questions. Uh, we're gonna. I'm also going to demo what Bookmap is showing you uh, and um, how to uh, digest uh, the uh, uh, the information here. Uh, and then uh, we'll get into some of the order flow. Uh, but um, there, we have two separate webinars, okay? We have uh, one webinar, this one here, at 10.30, and then at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time, we have the other webinar, which is for current customers or, or those in trial. And it, that is uh, for them to, they're beyond the uh, platform details. They're, they don't want to uh, uh, be bogged down with that. They want to get right into the order flow uh, and uh, looking for, um, uh, how bookmap is uh, uh, displaying uh, advantages in the chart and uh, and, and um, being able to anticipate uh, price movements uh, by understanding the order flow in bookmap. Okay, so uh, you get a 14-day uh, free trial uh, with bookmap if you go to bookmap.com, and then you have access to those advanced uh, webinars and other resources like our educational course, uh, etc. Okay, so uh, let me show you where you can find bookmap. Uh, on the website here, it is, uh, well, we can, let's go to the top here, uh, and um, uh, at bookmap.com, let's click on explore, and uh, the uh, intro videos are here, just to understand uh, what you're looking at in bookmap in general, uh, just to get to familiar with uh, with bookmap, uh, and then we just scroll through here, looking at uh, the different advantages of bookmap, uh, our partners, uh, we have bookmap for U.S. equities. I can show you that as well. Uh, and the advantages of this really nice data feed um, that uh, that we're offering with NASDAQ Total View. Uh, and um, uh, actually, we're not providing the data. Someone else is, but uh, it's a, a partnership that we have here. Uh, connectivity. Uh, we are not a data provider. So you will need to be um, uh, using one of these um, data providers or uh, reach out to some of the brokers in here as well, uh, and they'll be able to, um, uh, you know, hook you up with uh, with Bookmap, all right, or the, the data for Bookmap. Okay, Bookmap is just a, a trading platform, all right. So uh, pricing page and the, and the trial here. Okay, so there's one version of Bookmap. It's Bookmap Basic. It's 49 per month, it's billed quarterly. You get the 14 day trial period. There's also Bookmap Advanced and Bookmap Quant, okay, for those quants out there who are looking for something special. The differences between these uh, three offerings uh, are the, uh, the add-on features, right? So for example, uh, there's one click trading from the Bookmap chart, okay? And we're gonna go over that uh, today, uh, some of that one click trading, uh, and then, um, there are some proprietary add-on indicators that we have developed, uh, and this is with the Bookmap Advanced version. Okay, it's uh, looking for uh, imbalances in the order flow, looking at larger players and how they're positioning, and looking at icebergs, uh, and determining uh, some of the positions of larger players using icebergs, iceberg orders. Okay, and the quants, uh, you probably want to connect to your. Uh, your own data feed, uh, et cetera, proprietary indicators and um, uh, API connectivity here. All right, so uh, it's uh, a little more technical, but uh, uh, reach out to us here if you are a quant. Okay, uh, let's see here, more resources. You can follow us here on Twitter. Uh, you can also subscribe to our Bookmap um, YouTube page. Uh, if you're new here and you want more information, I would recommend going here. Uh, and then watching some of the features and components videos, uh, and then watch some of these order flow video snippets. Uh, they will get you uh, familiar with um, the uh, phenomena that Bookmap is displaying in the order flow, okay? And the way that these markets trade. Uh, and uh, I'll demo that some of that now, but um, uh, this is what we go through in detail, uh, this kind of phenomena that you'll see here uh, in the advanced webinars. Okay, so uh, step by step, start with the, the features and components and then get to some of these um, uh, order flow video snippets. All right, 
All right, well, let's take a look at Bookmap. All right, we'll take a look at NASDAQ. Uh, you can see a nice little uh, uh, up trending at the moment. Uh, and uh, this is pretty indicative of a uh, an uptrend that we usually see, liquidity at higher highs here and more trading at higher highs. Now, for those of you who are new, um, let's um, uh, simplify this. Uh, we're looking at, um, uh, it's actually very basic information that you're looking at here. Uh, we're looking at um, three items. Uh, one is historical best bid and offer the volume that traded on the historical best bid and offer, and that's with these volume dots that you see here, okay? And then the liquidity heat map, okay? Um, the uh, evolution of the uh, of the dome, okay? The, the dome, the, the uh, depth of market, uh, we've recorded that data and we project it onto the chart, right? So we're, that's it. We're only, it looks like there's a lot going on here and it might look really foreign and complex. It's really not, it's actually a very, objective and simple view of the market. Uh, in fact, uh, a candlestick is more complex uh, in concept than what you're seeing here, okay? And that said, let's gonna, we're gonna turn on the candlesticks. Uh, they are available uh, in Bookmap as well. We're gonna turn off everything else here. Uh, we'll leave volume bars on. Uh, turn off historical best bid and offer, uh, indicators, and the heat map. Okay, so here we are in Bookmap looking at just uh, two things now uh, on the chart. A five-minute candlestick chart uh, and uh, a volume subchart here that you can see. Okay, and we, we're all familiar with the candlestick chart. It's open, high, low, close of a five-minute period. All right, and we can start to read pressure in the market with the wicks and the bodies and, uh, you know, the elongated moves here and, and different candlestick patterns, etc. Uh, and um, it can be insightful. Uh, however, there is a lot of data here that is missing uh, that um, you would be making erroneous decisions uh, by looking at some of the candlestick charts here uh, because you just don't know, for example, where the volume traded. Okay, we have the volume subchart so we can see the spikes in volume, but we don't know where it traded on this candlestick. Uh, uh, within this five minute period, and we have no idea about microstructures within this five minute period, uh, nor what type of volume uh, and how much uh, as, as well as where. Okay, so let's let's turn on the um, uh, volume dots, or I'm sorry, the uh, we're just gonna turn on the uh, best bid and offer, historical best bid and offer. And the reason being uh, is that uh, we're already going to see here microstructures develop within the five-minute candlestick periods. Okay, we're going to get a lot more insight to what's going on uh, in the uh, just the, the structural areas uh, just by looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay, so uh, in fact, let's look at the uh, 945 bottom here, uh, and then we see the move to the upside. So what what occurred down here? You know, it, it went down below this range here. Uh, and let's zoom in. We can just click on the uh, move tool here and we can zoom in very quickly with the um, uh, center mouse wheel, okay? So we can see we actually uh, start, start to see some structure here, right? Uh, in fact, you could probably say that this is, uh, you know, maybe a, a kind of complex uh, uh, head and shoulders down here. Well, you, you don't see any of that structure within the candlestick, okay? Uh, in fact, this is where we, uh, we're really interested uh, is down here we see the breakdown to a lower low, okay? But then here we make a higher high, okay? And uh, we make a, a higher low here as well, okay? So something shifted here, right? And we're gonna see aggressive volume in this area here, uh, aggressive buying, and it's gonna take price up to uh, the top of this range, and we're gonna see more volume trading up in these areas here. Okay, this is going to give us that that level of transparency that we're lacking here by looking at the candlestick chart. Okay, so uh, uh, this this break of the structure here is key, all right? And uh, this is something that we just we just don't see here in this candlestick wick. All right, so let's turn on the volume. Okay, and uh, whoa, that's a little bit big on the dots. Uh, let's bring down the dot size a bit. Okay. That looks a little bit better. And uh, okay, well, uh, so what we're looking at here on the dots, uh, the, a red dot um, is aggressive market sell orders, okay? A green dot is aggressive market buy order, 
Okay. Now you can see that these pie displays here, there's so many transactions that took place within a, a, a time period, a very small time period, uh, that we give you the overall shape of the volume here by the size of the dot as well as the uh, the delta uh, to understand that in this area here, there was still more selling than buying just by looking at the pie display. Okay. And then uh, look at this area here we, where we see this shift. Okay. And, we, and look at the aggressive buying here. Okay. This looks a little different than over here. Okay. So we see a shift in the order flow right at this area. All right. Uh, and uh, this is going to be trapped volume. Okay. They're probably going to be covering up in these areas up here. Okay. So uh, uh, just by looking at the traded volume, we're getting a lot more insight, especially uh, in context of a structure. Okay, so uh, uh, this is uh, the transparency that you're you're getting here uh, with Bookmap. Okay, now even uh, this kind of uh, detail here uh, is uh, not available uh, in a, uh, a footprint chart either. Okay, for those of you looking at your footprint charts, uh, and uh, and why is that? Is because uh, you're just going to see a bar in your footprint chart, and, and it's going to aggregate this data back and forth within either a time period or a candle rotation, a uh, rotation after a certain number of, uh, of moves uh, or ticks, okay? So that data is going to be, it's going to aggregate together and you're going to miss some of these structural details. And that's, uh, that's the problem with the, uh, the footprint chart. Okay? And we've overcome that problem here because we can see all the details. In fact, uh, let's zoom into this area here, okay? And I'm going to show you uh, that we can look at every single detail here. We can continue to zoom in, all right? And we continue to see every single trade activity that took place here, okay? Now, we're looking at uh, microsecond levels here, okay? Uh, and um, uh, we can continue to zoom in uh, to nanosecond levels as well, okay? You can look on the timeline here. We're looking at billions of seconds here, okay? Uh, micro uh, second level, we're looking at uh, millions of seconds, okay? Now, this is happening so quickly, we actually have a little bit of delay and latency between best bid and offer that you see here in the traded volume, okay? Uh, so um, let me find a little bit, little bit clearer example where we don't have that latency, so we just get the concept across here, all right? Uh, all right, so uh, if we zoom in here and see all of this detail, this is what we've captured, right? Best bid is the green line, best offer is the red line, okay? This volume dot, this green volume dot here uh, is an aggressive market buy order. Now we can use this roll, um, hover uh, over data tip tool and we can see that I have the date, the time, and what, um, what was the liquidity at this price level and the volume. So this was for one contract. Okay. And this is an aggressive market sell. Someone hit the sell button. And this is for a volume of two. Okay. So mark, this is just how the markets work. Uh, you know, you historical best bid and offer and, uh, and someone uh, uh, hits the market buy button and, uh, and traded uh, here. Transaction appears. Okay. Now as they zoom out, uh, we have so many transactions that take place uh, that uh, we uh, will, um, visually, just visually aggregate this for you, okay? So you get the overall effect here because we're not trading off of millions of seconds, okay? But we still retain the structure here and that's what's key, okay? And we still give you the overall shape of this volume so you can still understand. In fact, if we hover over this big dot here, I, we still have the data here of, of all the numeric values, okay? We have the date, the time, uh, what was on the ask here, and then the volume that traded, okay? All right, so that's the traded volume, uh, and that's the kind of transparency that you're looking at here, just by looking at the, the traded volume and the order flow, okay? Now, that's an important part uh, in the order flow. Uh, if we zoom out here, this is that area we were just zoomed in here at 945, and we can see that uh, that's where we actually had the, a nice little turnaround for the day so far. Uh, and... Um, uh, the um, the traded volume is a, a, a big part of uh, of understanding the uh, the uh, what's going on in the market here and and the order flow. Uh, there is another side to it though. We want to understand where they're bidding and offering. Okay.
okay? That has a, a real effect on price, okay? And uh, uh, let's uh, zoom into current market, okay? Because this is usually how we consume this data, is by looking at the dome, okay? The, um, uh, the depth of market, okay? This is the dome and book map, the current order book um, column here. Okay, we have other data columns as well, uh, but um, in fact, I'm going to hide that one. Um, we have other data columns as well, uh, but um, uh, this one is the dome. Okay, best bid and offer right here. Okay, depth on the offer, depth on the bid. Okay, this is the lit book right now. Okay, and this is it's reflected here as well in this window. Okay, best bid and offer and last traded volume is right here. Okay, so here's our price ladder looking at the NASDAQ E-mini, uh, and um, uh, so looking at the um, uh, depth of market gives us insight to the auction, okay? We're looking for areas where there's high liquidity uh, and uh, where traders want to deal, okay, uh, uh, in the limit order book. They want to be uh, sellers up at these levels, and they're providing liquidity with their limit orders, okay? They want to be buyers down at these levels, okay, on the bid side. And uh, this is where they're providing liquidity. This is where they want to deal. Okay, and we're going to see that um, uh, uh, shifts in this auction, uh, and understanding the auction gives us a lot of insight to uh, 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 possible price movements. Okay, so the problem here, though, with the dome uh, is that uh, these when these numbers change here, that data is lost. Okay. Uh, it's not recorded. We don't have a, a historical view of the current order book. Okay, it's just the current book. Okay, it's good, but uh, it could be better. Uh, and this is where Bookmap uh, solves this issue: uh, is with the uh, uh, in this window here. Okay, with our best bid and offer. Okay, just to the right of this white line, uh, we take the um, these numeric values here. Uh, and then we paint them in the, a heat map, right? So areas of high liquidity are painted brighter. Okay. In fact, uh, we should probably adjust this a little bit to uh, to show a little bit more uh, uh, contrast and activity here, just just for the uh, for demo purposes. Okay. All right. So we can see high liquidity up here at 86. Okay, 79, 78 contracts. Okay, they're also down here with the in the 70s uh, with the liquidity down here. Okay, this is the current auction. This is what's going on uh, in the auction right now. Okay, so where it gets interesting is we take this data uh, in the, uh, when you see the heat map change and reflected by the change in liquidity, okay, and then we, we take it and then just to the left of this vertical white line, uh, we record it and we project it onto the chart. Okay, so now we have an understanding of how they're behaving in the auction. Okay. So these striations we see here in the uh, uh, in the heat map uh, is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, so as price was going away here, they started to add back in on the bid. They wanted to be buyers here. Okay, then as price is coming back down toward these guys, they started to pull. So did these guys at this price level here at uh, 82.75? Did they have the intent to trade? And the answer is no. Okay, they pulled. So we've made a distinction now between uh, this liquidity and understanding if uh, they really wanted to trade. Okay, so uh, uh, you know you always hear about uh, fake liquidity uh, in the limit order book, and it's hard to read and understand, and it's useless. Well, it, we have use of it now. Okay, we can see it. We can understand the behavior here. Okay, uh, and look at look at them pulling here as price is coming up into this 85 level, and they pulled. Okay. Now, we might see uh, a little bit of bullish behavior here. See how they're, uh, uh, the, um, the bid is, they're, they're bidding at higher levels here. Okay, so they're following up price, and let's see if they, uh, uh, maybe we can come up and test the high liquidity up at 86 here. Okay, we need to see, though, if these guys remain in the book. And there, there's our answer. They just pulled. Okay, so it looks like it might come down here uh, into uh, where they're uh, uh, bidding down at these areas at 82 and a half. We're just going sideways. All right. So anyway, uh, we can gain insight from this, and we're going to see it 
uh, in the historical evolution of this limit order book. All right, and uh, yeah, here here it is. Like, uh, uh, look at them at the, at the 77 level. Okay, they want to be buyers here. Okay, the, the, this is longer term liquidity that's been in this book. Okay, also it looks like uh, at this 81 level. Uh, longer term liquidity that stays here. They they want to trade at this level here. All right, and you can see these guys up here. This is uh, um, uh, absorption as we see price comes up into these areas here of very high liquidity. Okay, and then let's uh, uh, make a little more distinction with our our uh, our heat map settings. Okay, and uh, we can see we trade up into high liquidity and transactions actually take place. Okay, larger players with high liquidity uh, are um, uh, absorbing uh, the uh, aggressive buying as it comes up into these areas. All right, and uh, look at look at uh, what what happened. It kind of slowed down the advance of uh, a price discovery to the upside. Okay, and now we're just kind of going sideways. Right? This is uh, what absorption looks like. Okay, we come up into these areas, uh, they absorb, and we we see we, uh, uh, price reverses back down. Okay, and um, we we can see that uh, we came down here uh, and um, uh, rotated back up into these areas, and we continued on more price discovery to the upside, uh, up into the high liquidity up here. Okay, the market needs liquidity to trade. Okay, and that's just uh, how it works. So anyway, that's what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and uh, now we can start to look at a complete picture of not only the traded volume, uh, and we can take a candle, candlestick off now, not only the traded volume and where it took place, uh, and understanding the commitment of these traders with their transactions, but to understand the auction, okay, and their intent to deal at these areas, and that's the other side of the uh, of the order flow, okay, and to understand liquidity. How is liquidity behaving? Okay, and um, uh, anyway, uh, let's see. We got a few more minutes here, and uh, I said I'd go over the um, uh, one-click trading. Okay, so this is one of the Bookmap Advanced features. So let's uh, let's click on the um, uh, hide um, or show the uh, trade control panel here. When I click on it, it opens up here. Let's enable it, and you can see it turns green. Uh, so this this window, this is where you do the one-click trading. It's in this current market window, or you can use the buttons over here. All right, and uh, let's choose a size now uh, as well. We're going to choose just one contract. All right, and um, we have OCO orders, we have bracketed orders, and trailing stops as well. Okay, uh, different order types here, uh, etc. So uh, now uh, I'm just going to do this for the demo. Uh, so um, uh, let's uh, zoom in a little bit and um, I want to show you this. Uh, okay, as we're starting to break down into this 81 level where they they were waiting, right? They were waiting. They just absorbed this, it looks like. Okay, we see the transaction that occurred here. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, let's say uh, in, in this window here, uh, you want to provide some liquidity. You want to be a seller. Okay, and we just saw the breakdown here. So... Uh, maybe you want to be a seller here. If you're looking for a return back here, if you're if you're bearish, uh, you'd, you'd want to be a seller maybe uh, right here. So uh, right clicking and left clicking in this window is uh, how you set orders, and it depends on uh, your in relationship to price as well. Okay. So for example, uh, let's see, we want to be a, a seller. Well, right clicking in this window is always going to be a sell. Okay. Depends on where. Uh, so I, if I uh, right click up here, you can see I, I've set one contract here. That's my liquidity. We actually have a, a yellow line here that shows my position in the queue uh, as well. Uh, and um, as now price is coming out right up to it. All right. So this is the pullback we were looking for. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, this purple line here with the, the long dashed line here. Uh, that's my one contract waiting at this price level of 82 and a half. Okay, now uh, I can also uh, left click, hold, and drag this uh, up uh, to other areas. And you can see, let's zoom in a little bit further. You can see it, Bookmap has recorded all of my actions here. Uh, this is where I placed the order, uh, and then this is where I moved it. All right, so we have really good uh, uh, detailing here of all of your 
uh, transaction activity. All right. Uh, let's see here. You can also just left click here uh, and then change the uh, uh, size uh, of the uh, order. And uh, you can see that there's a dot here that took place. Uh, and that's where I changed it from one contract to two. Okay. All right. We're coming up here. Maybe we'll get filled here uh, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look. Um, all right. The, um, now that's a, that's a market um, or I'm sorry, a limit sell order. Okay, now let's do a, um, uh, a market um, sell order. Okay, so that's right clicking again, but I'm going to right click uh, below price, okay, not above price. Because recall, if I right click above here, that sets a limit order. If I right click below, that's a market order. And I just got filled. You can see my purple line here at 82. Uh, and um, uh, here's my transaction. This is where I clicked, and this is where I got filled. All right. So uh, you can see uh, how to, uh, uh, you know, trade within this window here. Okay. Now let's uh, let's flatten this position here, uh, and then uh, let me show you the buy side. Okay. Actually, you can see that there's a transaction when I click flatten. So it just filled my order here, hitting the flatten button. It filled it and it canceled all open orders. All right. So uh, now it's um, we can also set. Um, uh, obviously buy uh, limit orders and that would be with um, uh, uh, left clicking okay and left clicking below current price okay here are my orders okay I just set three at these different price levels okay now let's say I want to be a, a, a buyer though uh, and hit the uh, market buy button well you can either use these keys over here or you can uh, you can uh, left click above current price I'll click up here at 84 Here's where I clicked, here's where I just got filled, and here's my position with the beige line. Okay. All right, let's flatten that one. Uh, and um, uh, the, um, okay, so that's that's market uh, buy and sell and, uh, and limit uh, buy and sell. Now you can also set um, sell, um, buy and sell stops, okay? And uh, let's, uh, let's do that, all right, so, um, now, remember, uh, right-clicking is always going to be a sell, okay? So let's say I'm looking for this this uh, nice little bullish breakout here, but let's say um, I'm not looking for I'm, – I'm looking for breakdown below this area, not to accept above where we just broke from, all right? So I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to right-click, okay? And then here's my sell limit order, and I just got filled, okay? Let's do it uh, – I'll, I'll sell down here as well. All right, so, um, uh, and then I'll uh, right click above current price so you can see the distinction between the two lines. Okay, this double dash line is a, uh, uh, a sell stop and this is a sell limit order. Okay, all right, let's uh, flatten. Uh, and um, you can also set the, um, uh, the buy, um, uh, sell stop or a buy stop uh, and that would be uh, by holding down shift and then above current price then you left click and there it is all right now you can also you know let's say I have all these orders set you know here you know I can flatten just the ones on the uh, or, or I'm sorry cancel the ones on the sell side or the buy side here but let's say I want to cancel individual ones uh, what you can do uh, is uh, just use your center mouse wheel uh, as a uh, as a button and then click on the order here okay and it will cancel just that individual order okay so for example let's say let's just move some of these uh, together right uh, you can see I just move them up together uh, and um, now I have two orders here two contracts but uh, and, and then in parentheses it's two separate orders okay now let's move them all together okay I'm going to hold down the control key and then I'm going to left click, hold, and drag them all together here. Okay, so you can move them all at once. Whoops. Uh, let's move that one back, and then I'll show you here. So we'll hold down control, and we can move them all at once. All right. Now you can um, uh, also click here uh, with on your center mouse wheel, and I just I just canceled just one order here. Okay. Uh, now, uh, you can also hold down the control key, and um, you can um, 
uh, use your center mouse wheel button, and I canceled all just for that price level only though, all right? So that's just some of the basics here. There's a lot more to go over in the one-click trading, but we're, we're out of time. I uh, wanted to show this to you guys. Uh, someone had uh, asked about it. Uh, not sure if he's here in the uh, uh, in the webinar, but uh, uh, that's the, some of the basics here. Uh, and uh, let me know if you have uh, other questions. Uh, else, uh, I'll see you in the advanced order flow webinar uh, starting in just a minute. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye.